It's time now to deep dive into collectively crush all of the degenerate trifecta in a segment we hate to call bed aches. I saw the numbers on underdogs week one, and I took every underdog that was three points or more on the spread and on the money line. And it was looking good in the morning, right? So underdogs were covering left and right. I have all this wins, wins, wins looking at me. I'm like, okay, let me money line parlay the 49ers. They were up 10 nothing with Alcaraz. They up 10 nothing. <laughs> they don't need to do anything really. They just need to play defense for 20 minutes and then it's going to pour rain and no one's going to be able to score. But they couldn't do that. So I lose that. I do the same thing in the afternoon. Underdogs all over the place. Not as good, but I'm probably all right. I'm going to be all right in the long run. I get nervous. I go Titans money line. They're up 13 nothing. With, <laughs> I mean, Brian, I'm, I'm an idiot. I take the two teams that are winning the 10, two, 13 nothing. I didn't even get to cash in on any Alcaraz bets for uh, the U.S. Open. And he uh, steamrolls. That's my uh, uh, bet. Just That's disgusting. A- what the hell am I doing? <laughs> 